In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate the coefficient of variation by using Microsoft Excel. So in this example data, I have the concentration readings of a protein known as protein X, and I have read this protein from an assay three different times. And these readings are simply concentrations given in picograms per milliliter. The coefficient of variation is a value used to reflect the precision of an assay. In other words, how repeatable is that assay at producing those results? And this coefficient of variation, otherwise known as CV, is usually presented as a percentage value. Now to calculate the CV, you need two things. You need the mean or the average of the readings that you're interested in, and you also need the standard deviation of these values as well. So firstly, I'm going to start off by calculating the mean value. In Excel, I'm going to type in equals, and then I'm going to type in average, open bracket, and then I'm going to click and drag the readings that I'm interested in. So this is the readings, the three different readings from my same sample. Close the bracket and then press the return key. Then in the SD cell, I'm going to calculate the standard deviation for these three different readings. To do this, I'm going to, again, click on the empty cell and type equals, STDEV, open bracket, click and drag the readings that you're interested in, close the bracket, and then press enter. Now the formula to calculate the coefficient of variation is the standard deviation divided by the mean multiplied by 100. So to calculate the CV percentage, I'm going to click on this empty cell and type in equals, open bracket, and I'm going to click on the SD, the standard deviation value, divided by the mean value, close the bracket because this is what you want to do first and then multiply everything by 100 because we want to display the CV as a percentage value. Then press the return key. So you can see that the coefficient of variation for this sample in this particular assay is 1.616%. So that is how you can calculate the coefficient of variation by using Microsoft Excel.